Hello, my name is Eli Martin and I'm with the Inside Sales Team at HLA Snow. Today we want to show you the features and benefits of the floating blade hinge that is installed on this 4203-1016 snow wing. The first thing we want to notice is that you want to run your plow level and this top of the end plate here is a good visual to see if your plow is running level. At the same time, this top pin in the floating hinge mechanism is nicely centered in the slot here. This plow has been designed with eight inches of vertical travel in the floating hinge, which means that this unit can pivot on the bottom pin right here. The plow can move up and down eight inches, and when that happens, this pin will move to the front and the back of the slot, while this loader carrier and the mainframe stays rigid. If you do not have the floating hinge on this plow, when you get up to a speed bump in a parking lot or uneven terrain, the plow coming up will try to lift the loader boom and maybe the tire. And when you get over top of the speed bump, the tire gets to the bump, it will lift the whole plow up. You lose some snow, you have to back up and get that snow you left behind. If this floating hinge setup is run properly, your operator can navigate speed bumps in a parking lot, uneven terrain, rises up off the street in a hard graded driveway without touching any controls in the cab this travel will look after all the variation in terrain as your operator is plowing. One misconception that we run into a fair bit is guys wanting to run their loader boom and float for plowing snow. This is not a good idea. It accelerates the cutting edge wear on your plow and doesn't do a much better job of plowing. I want to show you the physics of what happens when you run your loader boom and float. So your push force is coming from your top loader pin right here. It's driving down hard right to the cutting edge on the plow. That's a really hard angle to be pushing down at. So as you're pushing, the harder you push, the more weight you're putting on the plow. You'll also be losing weight off your front tires and you'll be losing steering control when you're doing that. So typically we want to lock these boom cylinders into the rigid position. If your machine has ride control, I recommend to turn it off so that the boom is rigid to the machine and let your floating hinge do the work of keeping the plow on the ground. This will greatly enhance the life of your cutting edge. It will allow your operators to do a better job and just be more relaxing experience for everybody as they go th through the storm.